All right, y'all, welcome back. We are continuing on with this little sampler. And next up, we have got the French Knot. If you've watched my other videos, a French Knot is usually how I like to finish off any of my stitches. So it's, you know, usually what's ending each little bit. But in embroidery, you use it for decorations. So you're gonna take your needle, nicely threaded and all of that. If you want to learn how I did this um, to keep it from escaping the needle, check out my tips and tricks video and we are going to get started. So we're gonna take the needle. I'm just gonna pick one of these little dots here and we're gonna go from the back to the front yet again. And we're gonna create like a tiny, tiny stitch. Um, this is usually how I like to start my, my thread, but we're gonna make this one super tiny so it can be covered up by the knot very easily. Uh, and then we are going to take the little loop that is made here and put our needle through. So now you've got your little stitch already made. Um, we're going to come up from the back to the front and we're just going to place the needle behind the thread and wrap it two to three times. Usually for decorative knots, I like to do like two times. It's a little easier to manage with two strands. Um, but if you're looking for a slightly bigger knot, three times around might be your best bet. And then we are going to take our needle, place it behind the thread. I'm gonna wrap it two times. One, two. And then put it back down into the fabric before it goes anywhere. So now you've got like, it's like all knotted and ready to go. Uh, keep all the excess kind of out of the way, but pull the rest of the thread through, keeping it as tight as possible uh, with your thumb or your index finger, and then pull it gently through. And then you've got this tiny little knot ready to go. So we're just gonna keep doing that. So come up through the back, wrap it, Put your needle behind, so we're gonna do one, two. And then put it back down through the fabric. So you've got this all nice and wrapped. And then we're going, I'm gonna hold that in place on the needle there. I'm going to put the needle back down where I came from and pull it through, keeping the excess thread out of the way with the thumb pulling it through. The reason why I like to keep the excess thread out of the way is it keeps um, the knot from catching too early and creating like an extra little loop outside of the knot. You might find that happens sometimes. It's fine. It happens. It's a little bit of character, um, but that is a way to keep that from happening if that is what your goal is. So we're just going to finish up the rest of these little dots. So now we have made all of our little French knots. Um, then we're gonna go to the back side and we are going to take our needle, put it through one of these previous stitches or two of them if you want, I don't really care. Um, and then you're gonna have a little loop here and you're just gonna finish it off with a French knot. Um, so take your needle, put it through the loop again, wrap it two to three times, pull it through. And then we're gonna create one more French knot just so we can save our thread for later. And there you have it. And then she's all done. We're gonna snip it. And now we have all of these little French knots. Mm -hmm. 